Welcome to the weekly wind down. Another episode. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. What are we drinking here, babe? Today we are drinking a very interesting and different Pinot Noir. Um, it's from St. Lucia Highlands. It's a 2018 Pinot Noir. Um, it's actually very nice. We had chili tonight and it goes quite nice with a heavy bowl of chili because it's a very heavy Pinot Noir. Where, where's it from? From, um, I know it's California. Yeah, California. Got it. It is very nice. It's yeah. a little bit heavier, but heavy for a Pinot, but still very nice nonetheless. Yeah. Which leads us to our topic today is why we should track something. And when somebody says something, it's a very abstract thing. That, that is really, very abstract. But it all comes back to awareness. So a lot of people know about our inner and outer energies. And for me, it tracking really becomes about monitoring sleep, monitoring physical outputs, monitoring recoveries, monitoring HRV, and monitoring uh, nutritional intake. So it's like your Apple Watch. It is like your Apple Watch. It's like your Apple Watch, your Fitbit, your Aura Ring, <laughs> your Polar, your Garmin, you name it. There is a, your Whoop Band. There is an umpteenth number of things in which you can try and new ones coming out every single day. It's a billion dollar industry. And why is it so important that we're tracking? It's a level of awareness. When things are tracked and measured, they're brought into our awareness. Things that we are aware of all of a sudden become changeable and we can take action on them. I want to ask you a question for a second. How many of you have ever tracked the number of steps that you were trying to get in a certain day. I know that I've done that way back when. Mm -hmm. And every day you were aware of how many steps you were getting. You were trying to stay within a certain number. You were trying to push yourself to get more. And then all of a sudden you took your tracker off. You lost it. You stopped using it, whatever. And the actual movement went down. It was because it was no longer, you were no longer as aware of it. You were no longer as focused on it. And as much as it goes for the outer energy, it goes for the inner energy as well. Absolutely. Because like you said, it all comes back to awareness. So on the inner energy side, it's all about mindset. And so often it's such a, a an abstract and intangible thing to think about that when you actually create something tangible, around it, like the seven levels of energy, you can then start to identify every thought, feeling, action, emotion, belief, whatever it may be, they all can relate back to one of those. And then take that a step further and you actually measure that. That is where the beauty of it comes in because you can measure where you resonate, right? What, what level of energy are you at? And from there, that's where you create awareness and action plans off of that awareness to say, okay, maybe, maybe in that situation, I was frustrated. I showed up at a level two energy, but it didn't feel good. It didn't feel good for me. It didn't feel good to the other person in the situation. And obviously the, the goal is to, to be feeling better, right? To be, Always. Which equals resonating at a higher energy level. So, okay, what can I do? What would a different energy, what would a different choice look like? And when you can measure it, when you can, when you can collect information and measure it, that's where real awareness comes in to then create real action and change as a result. And so I know in everybody's life, there's something that you want to change, whether it's weight loss, whether it's better sleep, whether it's more energy, whether it's uh, better relationships with somebody, whether it's uh, getting up and taking your dog for a walk and being more diligent with that. The only way to create long-term sustainable change is to become more aware of it. And the way in which we become aware is through tracking and measuring. So I want to ask you, I want to ask, what is it that you're trying to change? Get super clear on that. And once you get clear on what you're trying to change, what can you utilize or what implement can you use to track something? And it goes back to the first thing we talked about. Track something. Because tracking something is better than nothing because it's going to give you a certain level of awareness in which you can create long-term sustainable change no matter what you're trying to do. And that's the goal, isn't it? 
always long trying to long term sustainable change. Long term sustainable change that leads to long term success. Sustainable happiness. You got it. So with that, here's to here's to change. Here's to awareness, and here's to tracking something. And here's to you. Cheers. Go, Go on, on it. it.